Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an in-depth tutorial that's going to revolutionize your VPN experience. We're diving into how to create a UDP custom server and set it up with the HTTP custom app. This powerful combination will give you faster, more reliable connections for all your browsing needs. Before we jump in, make sure to check out our blog for even more VPN tricks and updates. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. All right, let's get into it. First things first, we need to create our UDP custom server. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. Open your favorite web browser. In the search bar, type udpcustom.site and hit enter. Look for the official website link in the search results. It should be at the top. Click on it to head to the homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look to the left side of the screen. See that hamburger icon? It looks like three horizontal lines. Click on it to open the menu. In the menu that appears, find and click on Create UDP Server. A new window will pop up. In this new window, click on UDP Custom Server. This will take you to the server creation page. Now you'll see fields for a username and password. Choose a strong, unique username and password. Remember, this is for your VPN, so make it secure. Once you've entered your credentials, look for the Create Now button. Give it a click. Wait just a few seconds, and voila, your account will be created. The page will display your IP address, along with the username and password you just created. Copy all of this information. We'll need it for the next part. Great job! Now that we have our UDP custom server, let's set up the HTTP custom app on your device. Grab your Android device and open the Google Play Store. In the search bar at the top, type HTTP custom. Look for the app developed by Avozi. It should have a blue icon with HC written on it. Tap on the app, then hit the install button. Wait for it to download and install on your device. Once it's installed, you'll see an open button. Tap it to launch the app. When the app opens, you'll see the home screen. Look for a checkbox labeled UDP Custom and make sure it's checked. Now, let's input our server details. Find the SSH box. This is where we'll paste the IP address we copied earlier. Don't forget to include the port number. Below that, you'll see a port field. Enter 80 here. This is a standard port for HTTP traffic. Next, you'll see fields for username and password. Paste in the credentials you created on the UDP custom website. Double check all your entries to make sure they're correct. Once you're sure, find the connect button. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.